So if we take a look at what the Jersey Square team was worrying about, it's what most startups worry about on day one, is that, well, does my value prop match my customer segment, and do I have product market fit? Then you tend to worry about channels and customer relationships and whether I can make money. Then you also are worrying about market size, etc. And we kind of call this the right side of the canvas, or kind of the front stage. But the back end is equally important, and in fact, in the Jersey Square team, it's, it's probably critical to get kind of the partners and the activities and the resources correct, uh, because if they don't have Jersey suppliers or their cleaning costs or uh, UPS costs are, are correct, their expenses could be higher than their profits. And so they really needed to uh, nail down partners, and they needed to understand what they needed to be good at. You know, rental tracking, they needed a good rental system to be able to figure out where the jerseys are. Uh, they needed to be experts at shipping and dry cleaning and marketing and customer service. And they spent a lot of time actually thinking about what do they have to become good at. So if you take a look at their key resources, they really needed to actually become good at a series of things. They needed to become great at inventory management because they didn't want a warehouse of costly jerseys sitting around uh, just costing them money if they weren't moving through and being turned. They needed some type of warehouse and logistics system. And the question they started asking even now was, is this something we should be running out of our own garage? Is this something could we outsource? Is this going to become a center of excellence for us and a competitive advantage? Or is this something that someone else could do? And all this kind of added up to the left-hand side of this canvas uh, which is the equivalent to revenue streams, but it's the costs. What are the costs of jerseys and warehousing and shipping and cleaning, logistic tracking, website development, maintenance, customer service employees, etc.? And how does that match revenue streams? Eventually, the right-hand side of the canvas down here needs to be bigger than the left-hand side. Not necessarily during the first year, but that if it's not, then that tells you how much money you need to raise and how much cash you need before you go cash flow positive. And so all these pieces kind of add up to the calculus of doing a startup.